Beatrice by Sarah Teasdale Read for LibriVox.org by Squid Vashlakova Found at frisco-squid.blogspot.com Beatrice Send out the singers. Let the room be still. They have not eased my pain or brought me sleep. Close out the sun. For I would have it dark that I may feel how black the grave will be. The sun is setting, for the light is red, and you are outlined in a golden fire, like Ursula upon an altar screen. Come, leave the light and sit beside my bed, for I have had enough of saints and prayers. Strange broken thoughts are beating in my brain. They come and vanish, and again they come. It is the fever driving out my soul. And death stands waiting by the heiress there. Ornella, I will speak, for soon my lips shall keep a silence till the end of time. You have a mouth for loving, listen then. Keep tryst with love before death comes to tryst. For I, who die, could wish that I had lived a little closer to the world of men, not watching, always, through the blazoned panes that show the world in chilly greens and blues, and grudge the sunshine that would enter in. I was no part of all the troubled crowd that moved beneath the palace windows here, and yet, sometimes a knight in shining steel would pass and catch the gleaming of my hair and wave a mailed hand and smile at me, whereat I made no sign and turned away, affrighted, and yet glad and full of dreams. Ah, dreams and dreams that asked no answering. I should have wrought to make my dreams come true, but all my life was like an autumn day, full of gray quiet and a hazy peace. What was I saying? All is gone. It seemed but now I was the little child who played within a garden long ago. Beyond the walls the festival trumpets blared. Perhaps they carried some Madonna by with tossing ensigns in a sea of flowers, a painted virgin with a painted child, who saw for once the sweetness of the sun, before they shattered an altered niche where tapers smoke against the windy gloom. I gathered roses redder than my gown, and played that I was St. Elizabeth, whose wand had turned roses in her hands. And as I played, a child came through the gate, a boy, who looked at me without a word, as though he saw stretch far behind my head long lines of radiant angels, row on row. That day we spoke a little, timidly, and after that I never heard the voice that sang so many songs for love of me. He was content to stand and watch me pass, to seek for me at matins every day, where I could feel his eyes the while I prayed. I think if he yet stretched his hands to me, or moved his lips to say a single word, I might have loved him. He had wondrous eyes. Ornella, are you there? I cannot see. Is every one so lonely when she dies? The room is filled with lights, with waving lights. Who are the men and women round the bed? What have I said, Ronella? Have they heard? There was no evil hidden in my life, and yet, and yet, I would not have them know. Am I floating in a mist of light? Oh, lift me up, and I shall reach the sun. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.